Hello and welcome to the second Agent Carter After Show right ah. here on Nerd Shout. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I'm Kevin Becker here with the rest of the Nerd Shout team, and let's go ahead and do a Nerd Shout sound off. Hey, it's Mark Cirillo. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to Nerd Shout. It's Dimitri Hartman. Woo! Hey, everybody. It's Kayla Tessaria. Great. So we are here for the third episode of Agent Carter, the second night of it, but the third episode. And it was, in my opinion, a really, really great episode. What did yeah. you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? I so, totally agree. It was so better. far the best episode, was, I think. Yeah. Like, it in terms better. of the character dynamics and everything, I think it was really and good. And sucking me into the story yeah. and, yeah, and getting everything rolling. Yeah. yeah I feel like I'm... Sure. Not on the same page as you guys. <laughs> and that's what makes for good TV. It was, it was a Thanks better... Thanks for sharing. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> it was a better episode, but I'm still like iffy about this entire show, so... Oh, really? There were, there were a good. few like like moments that were a little silly and the characters... I I, I, I don't like the, the writing so far in terms of some of the dialogue. It's very cheesy and it's very like overdramatic at certain points. Hmm. It's almost trying to... like emulate the what the period was like instead mm-hmm. of trying to be a- authentic about the period. They do the attire, they do the outfits, they do everything like that. They try to create that spirit, but something feels like mm-hmm. it's too a little too cheesy. But it's like, still and polished. Yeah, cuz I actually polished. did think that during this episode because I, I actually have to say like I love the fact that the sets and like this art design is so brilliant really and beautiful, really yeah. but so Everything true. feels very polished. It doesn't feel like dirty and grimy. Unstaged. And this was a tough yes. period for the United States. So, so cheesy. there it's would so be. It's it's a it's a country that's thing. recovering from but the war. But I'm usually so. sensitive to that kind of thing, like the dialogue, especially and stuff. And it didn't bother me at all. Like I was totally yeah, I mean, having for, fun. For, yeah, for me, I it's guess so I I see that that kind of stylistic. Thing as a choice, I, I always see that that painting of the diner, mm. like with the couple people. I, I can't remember the name of it. The, but the, oh, the, it's a, um, the automat, the, the the diner. Or no, 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 no. Oh, no, the, the, the um, famous painting. Oh my god, the, I know this. I, yeah, oh, and Nighthawks. I I sent it Night to Hawks. you guys. Yeah, yeah. Hawks, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, Edward so, Hopper. Edward Edward Hopper. Yes. My, one so of my favorite paint, painters. It's one of my favorite paintings of all time. And so, I mean, when I see the show, I know that that's not necessarily true to the 40s but it just seems like it's got that style to it you know and and i and i guess i'm willing to to go along with it because i i'm like if this is what they're shooting for and this is what they're trying to do they're trying to do a period piece that that hits what most people think of when they think of that kind of time period mm-hmm. That's cool. That's cool for me. You know, you've got the bright it's red. It's stylized. The, yeah. yeah, it's stylized. That was stylized. Did you guys see the Edward Ho- the That's version why of Night Hawks like that I sent to all you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is that. I just don't, I think it's just personal preference. I don't like that stylized look. I hated Captain America vs. Avenger. I think it's like <gasps> the worst Marvel movie. <gasps> oh, no, that was Iron Man 3 or Iron Man well, 2. Well, yeah. well, no. Three it beats, three. It Captain beats, Captain America was Cap- the, it beats, I think it's Captain America was the best World no. War II movie ever made. Because oh. <laughs> it had a superhero in it. Exactly. I'm, uh-huh. back the other week. I'm just I was, saying, like, if happy. Schindler's List, if Schindler had like, got some spider web going, we would have... Much... I just realized the sacrilege. Oh my <laughs> god. So, <laughs> take us to jail. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, everyone in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone in the world. <laughs> But okay, so so style it's it's very stylized. But since we're talking a little bit about, you know, characters coming together, one of the big points of the story of this episode was the Jarvis treason issue. Yeah. Uh it came out that Jarvis got dishonorably discharged from the army and he was accused of treason and then we got the story. And I loved it because one of the things that that I love about any any Marvel story is watching people connect and come together and, and we I, we talked about this when we talked about the Ant Man trailers. I love the heart. That's I love that yeah. it comes down to being about people. Right. And getting to see Peggy and Jarvis talking about this and connecting their way through this, it, it was it was one of my favorite parts of the episode. Yeah. But I, what did you guys think about that? Well, I just loved knowing more about Jarvis and explaining why he is where he is. Like yeah. why he's working for Stark and why like how that all came mm-hmm. about I thought was was great. It's a really good backstory and gives him much more of a character. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Jarvis has been kind of like a a, a very straightforward character. He's mm-hmm. not like um, Alfred in Batman or anything like that. He doesn't have the military background in the comic books, 
But here they're giving him, you know, they're 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 making him a three dimensional character. Yeah. And we would, we've seen it from the other two episodes. He's one of the right. most interesting characters. He's, oh, he's my by far. In the MCU character. And now. definitely the most yeah. interesting male character on this show. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> because it's which just... have been crazy underwritten, but I feel like women have been underwritten on every other show. So <laughs> I feel like it's a fine balancing act. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> yeah. no, I, that's what I really like. It's the role reversal. Everybody that take goes a quick on. screenshot of that because that's the sassiest I've ever seen Kayla in the history of Kayla. <laughs> Preach it, baby. I, I, I loved. I, I didn't like how Peggy was like really drilling him about it, like wanting to know exactly what happened because obviously it was it's a sensitive topic for him. But I understood why she did it because she's an agent and she's mm-hmm. like business first. She's and she wants she wanted to know. She wants um, to be able to trust the person who she's partnering with. I really, out of the story, I really liked hearing what uh, Stark did yeah. to help to help Jarvis out and to help his wife and right. the entire like. I I just love like history in a way. So mm-hmm. the way that they connected it with what actually happened, how his mm-hmm. wife was 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 is a you know she's Jewish yeah. and she wasn't going to be able right. to escape without. And the fact that Stark helped out just humanized it very right? yeah Stark exactly and it was because great. It was nice. and, and that's a cool thing that they that they do with with like Howard especially because he's such a like a, hey I make things I'm cool <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then to just be able to see you know you can you can see a lot of Tony in him because mm-hmm. it's yeah. like look at me I'm great but there's that that moral compass inside that every once in a while it's like well I'm gonna like before he became Iron Man be like I'm gonna do a, a thing and then no one's gonna know about it. <laughs> Secret. Yeah, I, it's really it's really interesting because we still haven't seen Jarvis's wife yet. We haven't seen her. We've heard her. We we've heard her voice, but we don't know if she does actually exist. So what I'm trying to think is, <laughs> did I never <laughs> doubted that she existed? So well, well, because what does that mean? I, because I'm trying to think that what if the technology that was used, for example, for Zola to uh-huh. put him inside a computer, what if that's been used to to Save Jarvis's wife in some sort of some like way, now shape, she's or form. An android? It's kind of that she is she is within a computer or something like that. I don't know. Then that and that might also link to I don't know. Are <laughs> you stoned when you watch it? <laughs> 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 uh, all right, moving uh, on. <laughs> no, but I, I we haven't we haven't seen her yet. We don't True. know one hundred percent. And there's there's a lot of theories online about whether oh, or really? not she does actually exist. Oh, really? Whether whether or not she's you know she's a corporeal form. In that time, right uh, now, uh, she did, of course, exist in the well, war. In the yeah, war yeah. But it gives Jarvis another extra reason why he needs, he leaves, and he he goes on these other adventures with Peggy, and his his wife doesn't question him about it. Right. So I don't know. Like we, it could be answered further. She's down a robot. The road. Not necessarily a robot, but <laughs> it could be something. It's the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Actually, she's not right? an android because it's the nineteen forties. So it's, she's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway. <laughs> she's a supercomputer. I'll take it. Uh, well, let's I, see where that goes. I, I had yeah. topics, but now this whole I'm thinking that about went way just, longer I'm than like, we thought it was. Well, going no, to. it just came out of left field. I was like, of course, Jarvis has a wife. <laughs> 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 uh, I not thought that far. But since we're talking about relationships, uh, I loved this episode seeing uh, Peggy and Angie connect mm. because obviously finally they want to, you know like yeah. she, she's in the she's in the show right but I'm just glad it didn't drag on forever because right. that could have gotten boring for me like oh she's hiding everything and she's never talking and the friendship's falling apart and in episode seven they're gonna be great friends again like right. <laughs> it could have gotten re- I think it could have gotten really and when it happened like it really got me the very end of the episode because mm-hmm. she'd just gone through such a hard time and lost a friend and yeah. And, and yeah so well, I friend. I started crying <laughs> well because like it was like. Someone to watch over me starts playing in the background, and I was like, oh, I lost it. Yeah, true. I'll admit it, I lost it. Oh, yeah. did you really? And I love the waitress. I think she's, I mean, Angie, like, she's great. Like, I, because that character could be so annoying so easily. Yeah. And she's really charming. And <laughs> <great>. <laughs> Can, for, for, for Mark and everybody else, it can be annoying. For me, it's like already oh, it's she, yeah. annoying. I know, but I just like her. I mean, I love Angie. It is what it is, but. I, I really like her. that I line. Do. I've got what? some peach snaps <laughs> and there was some rhubarb pie. Let's she, have both and see which one makes us puke first or something like that. <laughs> she's, the friend, she's the friend that every girl has. Every girl has that one friend that's just like, it's just, uh, like has so many stories. Like it's just, the, every time. Because she's so out there. She's just so out there. She's just, every time Peggy comes around, she has like 
two stories up her sleeve just right. like that relates yeah. to what Peggy's saying so, <laughs> well I had an uncle and a cousin and a cousin of another cousin and a friend of another friend and oh, this no. happened and, it's, uh, it's uh, not a story it's a parable but I love <laughs> that I love that archetype of a friend yeah. like, it's it's like TV everybody has that one friend that just yeah. keeps I, going I love that friend though who's just like I have a story the you know my this kind of relates my but it's really about me yeah my coworker <laughs> died and just like oh yeah no I knew somebody that my cousin died and he got hit by a bus <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just robbed a bank. It's, <laughs> it's fair enough. It's I don't know what to say. It's that one friend that no matter what you say, they f- to try to find that one thing that kind of connects to what you're saying. Yeah, totally. So one thing I just want to say, because I think it's hilarious, is I couldn't figure out in the first two episodes like why I kind of loved that she was living in like a lady's like, oh, home yeah. or whatever. <laughs> And I realized because it reminds me of Booze and Buddies. <laughs> and I know that goes way back to like it does, but to anytime, the beginning of Tom Hanks' career. Anytime you get Peter Scolari into something, <laughs> then you've already won. <laughs> right. And I just, yeah, it just kills me. Like the whole sneaking around and living in a woman's like thing. It's just, I love that. I love it. It was, it's it's definitely, that but that also it gives her something happening in her home life. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to when she, yeah, when she just didn't well, have anything it there. Also, because she raises the question, no building is impenetrable and stuff like that, which means that her She has her to break room, her out of her own house. <laughs> I think it will become like an HQ for them. And yeah. like Howard Stark, because I remember like when they when they had the previews of the fir- future episodes, Howard Stark is in her room, I think so, in her, in her apartment room where she hits him, where she punches him. I don't and know he just shows right. up. He's like, I trusted you. I think it was in her room. Oh, you mean in the... In oh, the yeah, for the next building. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wonder. I think Jarvis will show up there at some point and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. also actually is a segue into the new character, that's Dottie true, Dottie. Underwood. Oh, my God. <laughs> which, okay. with a minute I saw her, I was like, <laughs> okay. spy, I know, but before we, murderer. Before, before we get there, really quickly... What I can't, I always pronounce his name right. Sousa. Sousa. Like Sousa. I love Alka Salsa. No. I just want to talk about how much I love his character. He's one of my favorite characters. I love Sousa. Jarvis and then him. Yeah, no, Sousa's great. Sousa's In great. fact, one of my friends was texting me. She was texting me um, from Connecticut about that, her watching the show, and mm-hmm. she's like, I have just had a crush on him forever. Everything he's in, dollhouse, like everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, everything in the Weed Universe. He is yeah. also Weed Universe. Oh, I'm waiting, and, and I Minnesota. haven't seen it because yeah. I probably. It, so but I don't know why that came in when we were talking about oh the house. No, so like because <laughs> obviously Dottie is Seuss in disguise. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> done. We all done. agree on that. I yeah. Plus Dottie Fury is out there. Seussa exists. <laughs> <laughs> or is he an android Sorry. slash? Okay. Or is du- he a femme? Medusa. <laughs> he's Dusa. a femme. Medusa. Um, Medusa. But here's, here's my thing, and I, 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 meant, I meant to say this last episode, and I didn't because I forgot. But and I haven't seen it on the internet, but I also haven't been looking for it because I know it'll make me crazy. But that actor, whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce, Ember Yoka. Ja, Yokaj. We ap- like all that. apologies to everyone. I apologize if I've massacred his name. <laughs> is in Avengers. What? He's, a, he's, he's, one, of the he's one of the cops. Yeah, in he's one of the cops in Avengers. Yeah. And so now, I don't remember that. Here's your job. I'm sure head. I did at the time. Does How he do tie it together? Susa to his identical grandson, <laughs> <laughs> who's an NYPD officer. Clark Industry, I mean Stark Industries cloning cloning, cloning department. <laughs> <laughs> Life model decoys, perhaps the vision. The vision. the vision. He's gonna be the vision. No, I already have my own theory about that. We discussed about it. But um, uh, but I really want to know like what you guys think about this Dottie Underwood character that yeah. was just introduced. Like, oh, I I really think like I, my first instinct was she is a spy or the killer or whatever. It's so and the killer she moves seems to be a woman. Afterwards. Like, but do you think that's just like a bait and switch or what do you think? No, I think that Dottie is. The, the killer at the very end of the episode who kills uh, Krasinski. Krasinski, and, which killed me. I was devastated. I was like, I don't I was in Krasinski. No, I started to get attached yeah. to his like, ridiculous mess of a character. Like, yeah. It was like a, I, an adorable yeah, it's mess. Funny. It's funny. I should have known, though. We all should have known because in TV, there's all, when when minor characters have some sort of highlights in an episode because he... Like he went, found the 
kind of with the kind of with this license plate, and then in the episode, it was like his girlfriend, and then wanting to take his shift. It was like I should have known they were going to kill him off because he's, I, he's not like a main. He's not one of the main detectives. He was being right? too smart for his ga- his own character. That I recognize you know, and I've seen in a lot of stuff, and so I thought, oh, he's a series regular. I, I didn't have, think I at all because I, I like well, that. He was actor. only in like three episodes in, yeah. uh, in the IMDb page, so. Uh, I, see, I didn't do that <laughs> research. I see, you spoil things. Damn Stop it. it. Here's, um, here's what I thought about Krasinski dying. Is I knew it was going to happen the minute he was like, there's an English lady on the boat. And I was just like, well, Krasinski's dead. Um, but for me, it could have been very interesting if Krasinski was the one who knew. And then because everybody picks on Krasinski, that Krasinski and Carter suddenly are like, you know what? Screw these guys. We're going to do that. He, and like Krasinski's feeding her the information she can't get from the other guys. He was going to be her inside man? Yeah. Oh, and he's just playing was, dumb? No. <laughs> no, I mean, no, he's kind of dumb. The, but, this, <laughs> this character who great. has a wife and a girlfriend on the side and also sleeps around with a bunch of prostitutes. Deserve to die. <laughs> <laughs> not that he deserved to die, but he clearly, he was such a chauvinist, he was not going to be going but into hell. Helping, been an helping her out. An that would have been that would have been nice though. That would have been nice if, of character. if he was so like dumb about it, where like Peggy convinced him otherwise to like See, switch it around to help her, help. help Help her, I love now and we're just he doesn't talking even know that he's that like helping but her. See, I wouldn't even want to for now. him to be dumb. In my brain, it was that because because they do shut up, Krasinski. Krasinski's an idiot. You're a dumb. You're a dumbo. And like that kind of, he sees that she's capable. They say like it, it could even be like he was on his way in there, and they say something just super rude to him, like they always do. And it's just one of those, just like you know what? But so screw you. And that might be the nerd in me going like, you guys pick on people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he was the kind of guy that kind of yeah. des- deserved it because he could take it. He was he was too dumb to kind of like be hurt by by the insults. Smart people get hurt by bullets. <laughs> yeah, dumb people Especially have the Marvel feelings. Universe. <laughs> dumb uh, people have feelings too. Uh, no, that's that's true. Everyone that has said, feelings. That said, I, I that was I think where the the writing came in because I, I I didn't feel sorry about him dying because like I think that the male characters have not been written very well and right. I don't know if it's intentional or unintentional I just that they're not as interesting as the, as the female characters in this show um, except That's... for obviously uh, Jarvis who's right. who's awesome I hope and, it's and Sousa but Sousa Sousa's also like he's 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 treading he's this like middle a sketch ground. of a he's character he's a sketch of a character he's very very much like bare bones and I think he will be his out. like story is his injury and his and, and his it. crush on her exactly and, and then like, the, I the have opposite to, say, to Captain America I did really like, like Chad Michael Murray during the interrogation process of Jarvis he wasn't that sure. cheesy this episode no. right Thank it was you. not like cheesy it was really good <laughs> I'm so and, sassy today and I feel a little like I, I maybe like jumped the gun by like being a little dismissive of him <laughs> because he was on a CW show or WB show or whatever it was he was on like it was CW but well before well, it, 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 it was called before, BW yeah, yeah. exactly I, and then UPN still didn't care about something. his character <laughs> and I anybody, still didn't anybody, care about his character anybody remember guys. UPN am I the only one that remember all right, well, now as we walk down but, network wait. television memory lane, anyway, we, do, we, we do not need to go. But back to Dottie. I mean, yes, everyone everyone knows. Oh. Everyone knows. Right, at the end of this Dottie. episode, come. I just assumed <laughs> so you guys didn't everyone, want to talk about it. Everyone it up knows. <laughs> <laughs> Go um, on, Kayla. Go on. Um, I I, I don't want to say settle down because I feel like I say settle down every Sit episode. Settle down. Mom, oh, down. I was just going to um, say, okay, mom. But, uh, um, I, obviously, I don't. They, you guys didn't realize this, but I thought oh, you did. But you guys didn't. We talked about this earlier. Screen, that it was a woman. That, it was. It was a woman. Like 100%. obviously a woman because there, one, it was like the belt wasn't really there, and you kind of saw her hair. In the uh, back, like, it was like back. tied to the back. It was back. like tied to I the back. You, guys, you like, saw a little like, bit of like, her like, hair. I totally like missed that. And know. after yeah. after she I shot, was tired. after she shot, because she obviously was this she, she shot Krasinski. She walks back. So it's like the the it, it, it had this very effeminate kind of like it way did. of walking. It did. to her car, like <laughs> how I walk everywhere. <laughs> <And> it, yeah, <laughs> hands in pockets. Like yeah, I just 
Yeah. I'm Interesting. But I love the idea of like a, a not, like a female villain. That makes me very excited. Well, yeah, yeah. that's why it is. Because it's... Dimitri. Oh, and here comes my theory. <laughs> oh, he's got a theory. I have a feeling. I have a feeling if they do want to link it with Hydra and with... Um, Zodiac. And Zodiac and Le- the Leviathan, it might be Madame Hydra, guys. It might be Madame Hydra. Because she is a freaking double agent. And she's also, I think that she does not want Peggy's identity to be discovered. Krasinski is an absolute fool. And so he is disposable. And so was the other guy who was arrested because he was a witness. And so it was easy to get them out of the way. She's not going for Peggy. She's not, or at least not yet. We're only on episode three. But I think that this might be Madame Hydra that's being introduced mm-hmm. in this and expanding the universe. I hope so. Fingers I crossed. It'd be cool. We yeah. mentioned it last well, episode, but this could be her insert into it. I mean, she's got the hair. She's got the. She's got the look. She's got everything to be Madame Hydra. Mm-hmm. So here's hoping hope that so. that might be her. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. so let us know let us know your theory about who Dottie is using that uh, that hashtag nerd shout on Twitter and then comments below. We love those. We love talking to you guys, which is why every episode we collect questions throughout the week. Yeah. So you can put your questions in the comments below, or you can tweet us using that hashtag nerd shout. Uh, I looked through a bunch of them, and there was one that we kind of touched on earlier, but there's still more to it. I think um, at here, let me check my. Twitter box, Ooh. making it a thing. <laughs> Trying to Twitter box. Too. So <laughs> at at Hewn Linda asks us, uh, do you think there's any more to the Agent Carter Jarvis treason storyline? Um, ah, I yes, possibly. Definitely. Um, it might be him hiding that his wife is dead. Right. And I think Comes that back. like what my whole thing was like as soon as they sort of reference it and he was like, that's another story. Like whatever. I was like. Oh, they're gonna do an episode where that's a storyline. Yeah. It'll be all flashbacks. It'll be like we'll see what happened. Like that's what I'm picturing. But we don't have that many episodes. I would love though, that though. I would yeah, love. I, know, I, I would think, love to have, have a, a, a one just they one kind episode of have with flashbacks. To do that, I think. Just, just about one. Jarvis. No, just not just about Jarvis, but like flashbacks, like to of earlier. everybody. I would love yeah. to see other than just mm-hmm. Captain America flashbacks. That, no Captain America flashbacks. No, we need some Captain America flashbacks. No. Just, they've showed every scene like no. twice that she no. was in. They didn't show that scene. Okay, well, that wasn't the scene she was in. Uh, <laughs> See? Well, there will be more flashbacks There's back to be. the day, especially in Age of Ultron. We're going to have some more Peggy Carter flashbacks. Yes. Oh, that's right. I'm excited so, about that. So this is the introduction for it. And we've got it. Dugan and more Howling Commandos coming exactly. up. There's no reason that we can't have flashbacks How excited are you about that? About Dum Dum Dugan? Yeah. Oh! words can say. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dum Dum Dugan. But uh, here's, here's my thing about that, though, is... Jarvis makes a mention to how Howard got him out, and he goes, that's story for a different time. So there's there's got to be something there. That's why I'm if, saying. If Howard yeah. had just bought his way out, just been like, I paid off a bunch of dudes to let me get him and Anna on a plane, then, uh, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> then why is that a story for a different time? Because that's a story for every day with Howard Stark. <laughs> right. That's true. Before you that's eat true. somebody. I am going a little crazy, because this is kind of <laughs> popping into my mind, and, it, and we discuss it kind of briefly, mm-hmm. but... We see, so we see the original Human Torch outfit in Captain America First Avenger, uh-huh. right? And yeah. Howard Stark creates that in his big expo, you see it, yeah. right? What if Jarvis is, in fact, not necessarily the first Human Torch, but some kind of superhuman with certain powers? What if that is linked to the war? And what if, because the... the and this is crazy. <laughs> humor me, guys. Humor me. That's what we've been doing. Because they episode. use the original Human Torch's bones to create Vision in the comic books. What if they use Jarvis's bones to create the Vision in Age of Ultron, and he might actually have certain superpowers to begin with? Maybe they can introduce some kind of superhuman into the Agent Carter universe through Jarvis. But isn't Jarvis like an android? Like. I mean, there's the Jarvis the AI. program, the AI, but that's Paul right. Bettany. That's not James Darcy. Yeah, mm. that's right. And Vision is oh, Paul, Paul Bettany. Oh. And yeah, exactly. All right, down, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this could be, yeah, this could be right. totally, absolutely nuts. But that's insane. what's fun about this. But that's exactly. <laughs> so let us know if you think that this this ball of nuts stuff could be true. 
type below and let us Hashtag know. Hashtag ball of nuts. No. Ball of nuts. <laughs> don't, let us know. Don't, don't do show. that. We're scared of Nerd what will happen when we have to look up. Hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look up. Oh, no. Uh, no. Nut shout. <laughs> Hashtag nut shout. Hashtag nerd shout. Hashtag don't listen to Demeter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel um, like like the times he's been right with his theories. Overweighs like, everything else. But then no, but then it, it, we get the crazy theories after that. Yeah, yeah but you have right to get the crazy the, speculations know, out there I because I mean it's Marvel. It's so true. much insanity has ensued in this universe. Yeah. What if Jarvis is it. Thanos? <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> James Darcy totally has. He's Janos. The, the chin? Janos. I can't wait right now. That was so ridiculous. Up. No cracking. I waited straight for up. the crack. No. Just that was totally so ridiculous. Who believes it? I can't. I'm done. Jarvis is still right. I think we're all done. So thank you guys so much for being here with us on Nerd Show. We want to give a huge shout out to somebody who's been really helping us. Uh, you should check out at Shield Radio on Twitter, or you can follow their uh, their own Agent Carter show and other th- and their Agents of Shield show, and that comes back at HelicarrierPodcast.com. They are awesome. If you like what we talk about, you will love what they talk about, and they're just they're super duper cool. And they've been super supportive of us, so check them out. And while you're doing that, let us know what kind of nerdy stuff you want to talk you want to talk. About. Daisy wants to know. Daisy she does. No, guys. Do you want to talk about Star Wars? We got a movie coming out. I know Mark wants to talk to you guys about everything DC. Yes. Flash, Arrow, Constantine. See Daisy's um, collar. Everything. Everything. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. And anything, anything nerdy that you guys want to talk about. I know someone asked me to talk about the death of Deadpool that's coming out oh, uh, yeah. this year. So oh. yeah. You know, we're gonna start working on different features <laughs> and things. So let us know, and we'll do our best. And comic books too. Comic books, movies, yeah. TV, regular books. Let us know. Do you think World War Hulk will happen as well? It's back here. Um, I do. I do. Hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> it looks Hit like me like on it's Twitter. Happening. I'm yeah, serious. Is this happening, guys? It's happening. It's happening. So it's let's happening. find out. We'll talk to you guys, and we'll see you next week. Thank you guys very much. Ciao, ciao. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>
I can't wait now. That was and so ridiculous. Up. No cracking. I waited straight for up. the crack. No. Just that was so ridiculous. It. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. Jarvis is still right. I think we're all done. Oh. So thank you guys so much for being here with us on Nerd Shot. We want to give a huge shout out to somebody who's been really helping us. Uh, you should check out at Shield Radio on Twitter, or you can follow their uh, their own Agent Carter show and other th- and their Agents of Shield show, and that comes back at HelicarrierPodcast.com. They are awesome. If you like what we talk about, you will love what they talk about, and they're just they're super duper cool. And they've been super supportive of us, yeah. so check them out. And- it was great. It's a really good backstory and gives him much more of a character. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Jarvis has been kind of like a a, a very straightforward character. He's not like um, Alfred in Batman or anything like that. He doesn't have the military background in the comic books. But here they're giving him, you know, they're 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 making him a three dimensional character. Yeah. And we would, we've seen it from the other two episodes. He's one of the right. most interesting characters. He's, oh, he's my by far in the MCU character. and definitely now. the most yeah. interesting male character on this show. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> because it's which just, have been crazy underwritten, but I feel like women have been underwritten on every other show. So <laughs> I feel like it's a fine balancing act. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> yeah. no, I, that's what I really like. It's the role reversal. Everybody that take a quick on. screenshot of that because that's the sassiest I've ever seen Kayla in the history of Kayla. <laughs> Preach it, baby. I, I loved, I, I didn't like how Peggy was like really drilling him about it, like wanting to know exactly what happened because obviously it was it's a sensitive topic for him. But I understood why she did it because she's an agent and she's mm-hmm. like business first she's and she, want, she wanted to know. She wants um, to be able to trust the person who she's partnering with. I really, out of the story, I really liked hearing what uh, Stark did yeah. to help to help Jarvis out and to help his wife and right. the entire like. I I just love like history in a way. So mm-hmm. the way that they connected it with what actually happened, how his mm-hmm. wife was 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 is a archetype of a friend yeah. like, it's on like TV everybody shows has that movies, one especially. friend that just yeah. keeps I, going I love that friend though who's just like I have a story cut the you know my it's kind of relates but it's really about me yeah my co-worker <laughs> died and just like oh yeah no I knew somebody that my cousin died uh, he got hit by a bus <laughs> I mean, he just robbed a bank. It's, <laughs> it's fair enough. It's, I don't know what to that, say. It's that one friend that no matter what you say, they f- to try to find that one thing that kind of connects mm-hmm. to what you're saying. Yeah, totally. So one thing I just want to say, because I think it's hilarious, is I couldn't figure out in the first two episodes like why I kind of loved that she was living in like a lady's like, oh, home yeah. or whatever. <laughs> And I realize because it reminds me of Booze and Buddies. <laughs> and I know that goes way back to like it does, but to anytime, the beginning of Tom Hanks' career. <laughs> anytime you get Peter Scolari into something, then you've already won. <laughs> right. And I just, yeah, it just kills me. Like the whole sneaking around and living in a woman's like thing. It's just, I love that. I love it. It was, it's it's definitely, that but was also literally... it gives her something happening in her home life. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to when she, yeah, when she just didn't well, have anything. It there. also because she raises the question: no building is impenetrable and stuff like that, which means that her she has her to break room, her out of her own house. <laughs> I think it will become like an HQ for them and yeah. like Howard Stark. Because I remember like when they when they had the previews of the fir- future episodes, Howard Stark is in her room, being in her home life. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to when she, yeah, when she just didn't well, have anything it, it there. Also, because she raises the question, no building is impenetrable and stuff like that, which means that her room, her She has her to break room, her out of her own house. <laughs> I think it will become like an HQ for them. And yeah. like Howard Stark, because I remember like when they when they had the previews of the fir- future episodes, Howard Stark is in her room, I think so, in her, in her apartment room where she hits him, where she punches him. I don't and know he just shows up. He's like, I trusted you. I think it was in her room. Oh, you mean in the... In oh, the yeah, for the next building. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder. I think Jarvis will show up there at some point and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. also actually is a segue into the new character, Dottie, Dottie Underwood. Oh <laughs> which, okay. with a minute I saw her, I was like, <laughs> okay. spy, I know, but before we, murderer. Before, before we get there, really quickly... What I can't, I always pronounce his name right. Sousa. Sousa. Like Sousa. I love Alka him. Salsa. No. I just want to talk about how much I love his character. He's one of my favorite characters. I love Sousa. Sousa. Jarvis and then him. Yeah, no, Sousa's great. Sousa's In fact, great. one of my friends was texting me. She was texting me um, from Connecticut about that, her watching the show. And mm-hmm. she's like, 
I've just had a crush on him forever. Everything he's in, Dollhouse, like everything. Yeah, yeah, like, everything in the Weedenverse. He is yeah. also a Weedenverse. Yeah. Yeah. Someone nice. I am waiting, and you know, I haven't soda. seen it because yeah. I probably. It, but I don't know why that came in when we were talking about oh, the house. No, like because <laughs> obviously Dottie is Susan in disguise. <laughs> Clearly, I'm waiting, and you know, I haven't soda. seen it because yeah. I probably. It, but I don't know why that came in when we were talking about oh, the house. No, like because <laughs> obviously Dottie. Is Seuss in disguise? <laughs> Clearly <laughs> done. We all agree done. on that. I yeah. Does Dottie Theory is out there. Seussa exist? <laughs> <laughs> or is he an android <laughs> slash? Or is he a femme? He's a femme. Medusa. Um, <laughs> Medusa. But here's here's my thing, and I I, I, meant, I meant to say this last episode, and I didn't because I forgot. But and I haven't seen it on the internet, but I also haven't gone looking for it because I know it'll make me crazy. But that actor, whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Ember Yoka. Yoka. We apo- like all that. apologies to everyone. I apologize if I've massacred his name. <laughs> is Sorry. in Avengers. What? He's, a, he's, he's, one, gonna, of he's one of the cops. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the cops in Avengers. Yeah. And so now, I don't remember that. Here's your job. I'm internet. sure I did at the time. Does How he do tie it together? Susa to his identical grandson, <laughs> <laughs> who's an NYPD officer. Clark Industry, I mean Stark Industries cloning cloning, cloning department. <laughs> <laughs> Life model decoys, perhaps the vision. The vision. the vision. He's gonna be the vision. No, I already have my own theory about that. We discussed about it. But um, so but I really want to know like what you guys think about this Dottie Underwood character that yeah. was just introduced. Like, oh, I I really think like I his occurred his name is Sorry. in Avengers. What? He's a he's, he's one gonna, of the cops. He's one of the cops. In yeah, Avengers. he's one of the cops in Avengers. Yeah. And so now, I don't remember that. Here's your job. I'm sure head. I did at the time. Does How he do you tie it together? Susa to his identical grandson, <laughs> who's an NYPD officer. Clark Industry, I mean Stark Industries cloning cloning, cloning department. <laughs> <laughs> Life model decoys, perhaps the vision. The vision. the vision. He's gonna be the vision. No, I already have my own theory about that. We discussed about it. But um, so but I really want to know like what you guys think about this Dottie Underwood character that yeah. was just introduced. Like, oh, I I really think like I, my first mm. instinct was she is a spy or the killer or whatever. And, so and the killer she seems to be a woman. Afterwards. Like, but do you think that's just like a bait and switch or what do you think? No, I think that Dottie is. The, the killer at the very end of the episode who kills uh, Krasinski. Krasinski, and, which killed me. I was devastated. I was like, I don't I was in Krasinski. No, I started to get attached yeah. to his like, ridiculous mess of a character. Like, yeah. It was like a, an I, adorable yeah, it's mess. Funny. It's funny. I should have known, though. We all should have known because in TV, there's all, when when minor characters have some sort of highlights in an episode because he kind like of found the, kinda the kinda license plate. Kind of with this license plate and then in the episode, he was like hey, girlfriend and then wanting to take his shit. After it's like I should have known they were gonna kill him off because he's, but I, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. but okay. So so style, it's, it's very stylized. But since we're talking a little bit about you know characters coming together, one of the big points of the story of this episode was the Jarvis treason issue. Yeah. Uh, it came out that Jarvis got dishonorably discharged from the army and he was accused of treason. And then we got the story, and I loved it because one of the things that that I love about any any Marvel stories, watching people connect and come together, and, and we I, we talked about this when we talked about the Ant Man trailers. I love the heart. That's mm-hmm. I love that yeah. it comes down to being about people, yeah. right? And getting to see Peggy and Jarvis talking about this and connecting their way through this, it, it was it was one of my favorite parts of the episode. Yeah. But I, what did you guys think about that? Well, I just loved knowing more about Jarvis and explaining why he is where he is, yeah. like why he's working for Stark and why like how that all came mm-hmm. about. I thought was was great. It's a really good backstory and gives him much more of a character. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Jarvis has been kind of like a a, a very straightforward character. He's not like um, Alfred in Batman or anything like that. He doesn't have the military background in the comic books. But here they're giving him, you know, they're 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 making him a three dimensional character. Yeah. And we would, we've seen it from the other two episodes. He's one of the right. most interesting characters. He's, oh, he's my by far. In the MCU character. And definitely now. the most yeah. interesting male character on this show. Yeah, yeah totally. Because it's <laughs> Which it's, have been crazy underwritten, but I feel like women have been underwritten 